Now, running protocol authentication. So, most commonly used protocols, Reverge version 2 supports both clear text and MD5 authentication. OSPF version 2 supports clear text, MD5, and in the newest codes, SHA-256 or 256 authentication. ERGIP supports only MD5 authentication and is going to make use of keychains to accommodate for easy key rotation because you can use so the key that you're going to use to authenticate running updates back and forward can be you know you may have a company policy to rotate the ERGIP key on a monthly basis or on a you know yearly basis or weekly basis so the use of keychain because each key defined on a keychain is going to have an acceptance cell lifetime then that's going to easily allow you to perform key rotation within the ERGIP transparently without put breaking the the, the routing protocol you know in without causing the ERGIP adjacencies to go down and back up again so key rotation key chaining allows for the ERGIP key rotation which is going to be used for key for protocol authentication allows for that pro that process of key rotation to happen transparently on the fly without affecting the routing protocol at all. BGP supports only MD5 authentication and that's going to be done via TCP option 19 because BGP runs over TCP is the only routing protocol which runs over TCP. Reef version, two, Reef version 2 runs over UDP while OSPF and ERGIP have their own IP protocol that they run on top of IP directly. Now it's important to, to remember and we're going to speak in more details tomorrow in the cryptology section that MD5 and SHA are not encryption algorithms or hashing algorithms. So base, when you're going to add a, a authentication to the protocol with SHA or MD5 then the, the, the packet, the IGRP packet or the USPF packet or the RIP packet or the, of the, the BGP packet is still a clear text packet which if somebody captures the packet is going to see what's in the packet but the the authentication the, the by using md5 or SHA authentication it means that within the packets within the ospf update or rip update or bgp update or any kind of routing protocol packets to call it simpler i'm going to inject an md5 hash which is going to be used between the two peers talking ERGIP or OSPF or RIP or BGP to authenticate the packets in between. And if the packets are going to fail the authentication, then the packets will be dropped because those will be considered to be spoofed or an attacker trying to send illegitimate running protocol updates or running protocol packets in the network. Now we're going to do running protocol authentication once we're going to go to the file section because I want to show you the ASA configuration. But before we go there, we have to first speak about the basic firewall functionality of the ASA to begin with. 